the day started off rough with heavy rains. Clearly Mother Nature got the memo that the second day of KCON 2017 NY presented by Toyota was beginning. By time former Coco Avenue's Jenny Lyric took the convention stage for a surprise morning performance, the sun was shining, the sky was clear, and there were already people lining up for the concert's general admission. These fans were not about to miss this once-in-a-lifetime chance to see their faves up close one once, the name for twice is loving fans, even braved the rain and camped out in line overnight. That some serious dedication. Panels for the day started off on a serious note with cross-cultural clashes in Halley, moderated by K-pop stars Own Life Francis, where POC Halley content creators Whitney by Eddie, Jasmine, and former Coco Avenue members Jenny Lyric and Jenna Rose discussed issues like cultural appropriation as they appear in the Korean world. Excitement only grew, as more attendees filled Prudential Center's convention grounds, with many fans sporting gear of their favorite group, ready to participate in the day's programming. The Toyota and at twice as TT was especially popular people would run to dance as soon as they heard those iconic opening synths. Aside from dancing, attendees could receive free samples of Korean snacks and skin care, try their luck at winning full-size items, Innisfree's claw game was particularly fun, and pick the brains of their favorite Korean beauty gurus at panels, workshops, and queue. Here's a part of Korean culture that usually goes unnoticed, the massive gaming scene. KCONNY offered a taste of the hype with a tent that boasted, in addition to air conditioning and an escape from the heat, a place to test out new games and devices like the game Vice, purchase merch from popular gaming teams like CounterLogic Gaming and Immortals, and see Amazon's Mobile Masters Invitational. The tournament included mobile games Summoner's War, Vainglory, and Hearthstone, and a total of $65,000 in prizes. Casted and streamed on Twitch, the Mobile Masters Invitational featured pro players battling it out live and gave con-goers a small taste of the gaming scene that also takes a large spot in Halley culture. Another highlight of Saturday was Super ANX's K-Pop Battles, a live K-Pop dance cover event where teams from all over the country, one team came all the way from Texas, to show off their skills. Haru, hailing from New Brunswick, New Jersey, defended their spot as reigning champions and took home the first-place trophy for the second year in a row with Dream Kitch's Good Night. Rice Paddy Heroes came in at second place and Diamond came in at third place, both from Boston, Massachusetts. The convention portion of KCON was a great lead-up to the second and last day of KCON's M Countdown Concert. Jung Kurian and One Million Dance Studio made up the night's pre-show, leading into the concert's opening act twice presented concert goers with a tribute to girl group legends with their take on the Wonder Girls hit, Nobody, and Miss A's Bad Girl, Good Girl. Up 10 Tian took the stage next, performing their comeback, Runner, even before it debuted in Korea. The rookie group's clean and exciting choreography, especially in their song, Attention, garnered lots of noise from the fans. The group was followed by NCT 127, another new boy band who recently celebrated their one-year anniversary. Their explosive title tracks, Fire Truck and Limitless, contrasted greatly with the feel-good vibes of Good Thing, Zero Mile, and a cute section where members Taeyeol and Do Young serenaded a fan with love songs. NCT 127 ended their set with Cherry Bomb, their newest comeback the audience went wild at the group's jaw-dropping choreography. UP10TION then returned to the stage for a special stage where they performed ABBA's Honey Honey, a heartwarming tribute to their fans, called Honey Tens. Their cute vibes led smoothly into girl group Wonder Twice, performing their hits Signal, TT, Cheer Up, and Knock Knock, and even including a special section to interact with the audience and pose cutely for photos. CNBLUE, the night's final headliners, then took the stage with Between Us, Cinderella, It's You, and Can't Stop. Frontman Yongwa was extremely playful with the audience, dancing and moving around the entire stage. All of KCON's Day 2 performers then came out for the closing stage, sending the audience their final goodbyes with waves, finger hearts, kisses, and lots of confetti. It was sad to see KCON 2017 come to an end but it was an experience that I'll always treasure and never forget. Until next year, copyright copyright 2017 kpopstars.com. All rights reserved.